we'll want to go out to San Antonio, Texas next, where we're getting new information from police after a pregnant teen who had been missing since Friday was found dead on Tuesday in San Antonio, along with her boyfriend. Family confirming that 18-year-old Savannah Soto and her boyfriend were found dead in a car at some medical apartments located in San Antonio. Soto was nine months pregnant and a week past her due date, according to her family. Now we're hearing from San Antonio police as they put this out on X earlier today, saying that anyone with information on this dark-colored pickup truck with a bed cover or the two persons of interest seen in this video is encouraged to contact authorities. You can also remain anonymous when providing information in this case. But you'll remember during that news conference on Tuesday as we brought it to you live, Police describe this case as very perplexing, and so we're starting to learn a little bit more and more about it. But you can see this truck that they're referring to here, as well as two individuals at the beginning of the clip. So they're really trying to get a lot of information here as to what happened in this interaction between the two vehicles. Of course, this comes after the tragic news that both were found dead on Tuesday. And police also implied at the time that they may have been there for several days before they were located. So let's bring you out to this update from San Antonio police as they spoke this afternoon. Go over it again anyway, briefly. Um, because this is an open investigation, I'm not going to answer questions unless it's to confirm something I'm, I've just said, but I'm not going to answer questions that may get into the details of the investigation. So first of all, uh, I want to express, uh, extend condolences to the families of both Savannah and Matthew. I also want to re uh, reassure them that detectives are doing everything that they can do to solve this case. Uh, Savannah Soto and 22-year-old Matthew uh, Guetta were reported missing by Leon Valley uh, on 12, 20, 12, 23, 23, a clear alert was issued for Savannah by DPS because it met the criteria for a clear alert to be issued. Uh, clear stands for the state's coordinated law enforcement uh, adult rescue alert program. Families of both victims reached out to SAPD on the 23rd to make a police report, but we had learned that Leon Valley had already taken a missing person report. Savannah and Matthew resided in Leon Valley, in Leon Valley's jurisdiction, and were last seen in Leon Valley. Therefore, Leon Valley was the uh, reporting jurisdiction. Officers did document details provided by the family members under an SAT, SAPD information report. On the 26th, at about four o'clock, SAPD was called to assist Leon Valley PD at 5903 um, Danny K. Leon Valley was uh, requesting assistance. Families of both victims were at the location and reported Leon Valley PD that earlier in the day, they received information that the missing gray Kia Optima was at the Danny K address. When police arrived, they discovered two people in the Kia. Uh, EMS was called to the scene and they pronounced both victims at the scene. It appeared that the vehicle had been located in, in, at that location for several days. The medical examiner had identified 22-year-old Matthew as one of the deceased victims in the vehicle and he died from a gunshot wound to the head. The manner of that death is still pending. The second deceased victim has not yet been officially identified by the, by the medical examiner. However, I think we can be confident that that second victim was Savannah. This case is being investigated as a capital murder case. Detectives right now are combing through days of surveillance video from several different locations that the victims were known to be, where the victims were known to be, Detectives uh, are hopeful that surveillance video will lead to the events leading up to their death. Detectives are also combing through social media and cell phone wrecks to determine the last communications with the victims. 
We have a video here that we're going to share with you. We have already put it out on social media. You may have already seen it, but we're going to run this video here today. Uh, we are hoping that uh, someone is able to identify the individuals that are seen in this video. Um, if anyone has any information regarding what they may see in this video, I would ask that you call Homicide on 207-7635. You can remain anonymous. You do not have to give your name. The video was taken from a nearby location where the bodies were located. And finally, here is a slowed down image of the first person of interest getting out of the Chevy Silverado that is seen next to the Kia. And then here's another, there'll be another sl uh, slowed down image of the second person of interest getting out of the victim's Kia Optima. Um, once you've looked at the video, I will take a few questions. Again, to only to clarify what I've said, if, if you're not quite sure about it, but I will not take questions other than what I've just talked about because the investigation is still active. Chief, you said that ME said that for Matthew Guerra, it was a gunshot wound to the head, but when we called them, they said it's a contact gunshot wound. What does that mean? It means that it was there. Um, um, when we talk about the, the manner of death has not been determined, the manner meaning, was it a suicide or was it a murder? So that's what the ME has yet to officially put out. So there's a possibility that this could be a murder-suicide. That, that possibility exists, but right now we don't believe so unless we get information from the ME that would change our current course. You don't believe so, and I, I wonder the callousness of all this. What is your message to the person or persons who may have committed this? You know, somebody asked me that the other night, and I, I don't know what value that adds to this interview, what message I would put out. I mean, clearly... It was a heinous act. It was, it was, you know, unspeakable, the tragedy of it. Um, I mean, what message would I give to those folks? I mean, I don't see what the value of that question is, but anyway. And just to clarify, you are treating this as a homicide for both people? It is a capital murder investigation. For both victims? Yes, right now, unless we get information that changes that. Chief, when was this surveillance video? Is this one from the 26th? Say it again. Where and when was this surveillance video taken? A few days before. Yeah. Days before. The bodies were discovered. And where was this? What's the address of this area? Where what? Where, where What's that? Where's, where's, is this where the bodies were discovered? Very close to it, yes. Very close to it. Um, I do see, I believe he is handing something to the driver of the pickup truck. Do we know anything about that? I mean, that, that's... That's what we're looking at. Uh, what we believe right now, it was something to wipe the side of the car down with. Uh, you know, we can't be 100% certain with that, but that's what we're studying in this video, and that's what we believe right now. And do we believe that these people may have any links of some sort? Do we know what links they I, have? I, I, I don't know that. Uh, and again, that would be part of the investigation. So just to be clear, the, the vehicle, the Kia Optima, that's the vehicle that they were found in? Yes. But the person that's getting out of the vehicle, you're saying, out of the Kia Optima, is that, is there somebody that gets out of that vehicle that you're talking yes. about? Yes. Yes. And you don't believe it to be either Matthew or... No. Okay. So Correct. We, do you all believe that they were shot, the killings happened somewhere else and they drove the car and dumped it? Well, I, you know, again, I don't want to, I don't want to get into the, to the details other than what we've, what I've talked about here today. So uh, 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 the answer to that question would be yes. But, but other than that, again, I'm not going to answer questions that are outside of what I just talked about. All right. So the police chief here in San Antonio getting right to the point with these updates they're providing at today's news conference regarding the death of Savannah Soto and her boyfriend, the pregnant teenager and her boyfriend who were found dead in San Antonio on Tuesday this week. The big piece of information here that police are talking about, again, is this video that they released on X showing a vehicle of interest, this truck that you see off in the distance of this video that is next to this car. And there's two individuals that get near the car close by, believed to uh, have Savannah and her boyfriend inside. And so this is the 
the the big info that they're hoping the public might be able to assist with right now. Wanted to bring you that update out of San Antonio, Texas, especially as we're learning a little bit more about the investigation as they're calling it a capital murder investigation too. So we'll continue to keep you updated here.